So this next piece is probably one of the, the most stunning discoveries for me. It's written by an African-American slave known as Blind Tom, or Thomas Bethune, or Tom Wiggins. Um, and it's probably written around 1861. It tells the story of the Battle of Manassas, which is the very first battle of the US Civil War. And it was a Confederate victory, a rather lopsided Confederate victory, the one that told the Union that they were in for a much longer battle than maybe they had expected. Um, this is really a tone poem. It depicts the troops coming together. It depicts the trains bringing relief um, with some sort of clever sound effects. Um, and it also depicts the cannon fire. And this is really the amazing thing. So you'll see Jeanette sort of reach to the lower end of the piano and, and just sort of hit a whole group of notes all at once, um, which is called a tone cluster. And as all of us know from our music history classes, the tone cluster was not invented until about 1914 by a composer named Henry Cowell. It certainly wasn't invented by an African-American slave in 1861 or in the 1860s. So it's, it really goes to show that there's a whole aspect of history of African-American contributions to history that sometimes we've missed. And this piece is something we very much hear as 20th century in terms of its extended techniques, but in fact was motivated by a sort of operatic interest in conveying a story. Um, you'll hear the banner melody as well as Yankee Doodle representing the Union troops. And then you'll hear Dixie and, remarkably, the French Revolution tune La Marseillaise to represent the, the revolutionary Confederates. Um, so, and of course, it was for a Confederate audience. And so using this sort of tune of revolution and calling to arms was very appropriate for Blind Tom's audience. So please join me in welcoming back Jeanette to play Blind Tom's Battle of Manassas. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.